Hey guys, the Rick here, bringing you another video. Now today's video is on my colony, my Cypochromus leptosoma utintas, my breeding colony here. As you can see from the tank, I've moved all the rocks. Uh, the fish I've, I've moved as well. This tank is only for them. And I'm gonna breed as much as I can. Right now I have a lot of males. They seem to be a little hard to find. So hopefully I can get more females. Probably have to sell a bunch of the males. But I do love it when they, uh, they flash each other. It's really entertaining to watch. Like that guy. That's the biggest male I have. Really like breeding these guys. They're, they're pretty easy. I get about a holding female once a week at least. But I really do want to get more. Uh, move all the rocks because it's easier to, to catch them and strip the females. And this way I, I can also just clean the tank a lot easier. These are uh, sardine-like cichlids. Uh, the perfect, in my opinion, community Tanganyika uh, fish. You can see right there is my holy female. Well, anyway, um, they are a very good community Tanganyika fish because they hang up on top and they aren't that aggressive um, towards other fish or anything like that. So they get along quite well. And if and the way I see it too is when you have other Tanganyika fish and you have these guys, um, they are skittish. So when these fish are out and uh, you know out and about, the other fish in the tank will also um, feel more comfortable and won't won't hide in their shells or their caves as much in the rocks. If these guys are out, they do feel more comfortable, and I do uh, see the fish come out more so these guys are excellent uh, for communities um, once I get my egg tumbler in I will strip that female I like to strip her a little early and also here is some fry let me see if I can zoom in better for you guys 22 20, 21 fry in here I put them in here because um, this way I can feed them easier. Uh, no way they can get anything to eat if they're with the adults. This way I can feed them the first uh, first bites, the curry first bites, and uh, feed them some new life spectrum. Some of them can take the point forty point uh, five millimeters, so that's good. I don't know how many adults I have, but I definitely want more females. I'm putting up ads and everything, trying to get more. But it's it's, it's one of the more fun tanks to uh, to watch because there's so much movement and the males are just really really flashing each other. No, nothing nothing serious, you know. No damages. The amazing colors purple body uh, yellow tail definitely want to breed a whole bunch and uh, sell them got a lot of deals from a lot of good breeders like about six bucks each around there so that's a pretty good deal here in Hawaii not too many people are into the tangs a lot of people are in here are into the South and Central American cichlids, which which is kind of a shame because these are beautiful fish. Tangs, I think, are just amazing fish. Uh, they're my favorite Africans. I prefer them over the Malawis and others. If I do I plan to sell some. It'll only be locally. Um, would be nice to ship to the mainland, though. But right now, that's just not gonna not gonna happen. If you guys have this fish, let me know what your experience are with this fish. Um, are you able to breed them and 
and so on. Hope I wish you guys a happy new year. Thank you so much for watching. Leave all your comments below. Rate, comment, and subscribe, guys. Laters.